Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff, your tropical plant party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. Yeah, I know. Not normally how I start a vlog, but someone pointed out to me that they didn't know my name on Instagram, other than tropical plant party. I was like, oh yeah, I don't usually introduce myself in the vlog, so there we go. Jeff, hi. How's everybody doing? Out here filming some time lapses, been moving the orchids out. The weather is supposed to turn really any minute now. I've been very busy. Like I said, I moved those orchids out. That was in a video or two ago from this one. Good timing for that with all the rain and everything. I Also, I need to move the ferns. I have them. They're going to get too much sun there. I need to move them. They're not ready for vandalite just yet. But I've been slowly pulling the mulch and spreading things out. I need to regrade this whole area, so I've been working on that. I don't want to ramble too much about the boring stuff like that. I'm just loading the wheelbarrow and dumping it and spreading it and adding gypsum and stuff like that to help break it down in other areas. But what's really important is... Oh, wow, okay, there was my voice. My allergies are terrible. What's really important is that I need to repot some palm trees. The spindle palm and then my two mule palms over here. Oh, need to head to Lowe's and get some sand, some potting mix. I need some garden steaks, some gypsum and all that fun stuff. And then hopefully make it home in time to still get some stuff done. If not, then... Hopefully the weather is going to be patchy. I'm going to get that done, I promise. Patchy meaning that like throughout the week there will be like still some decent moments where I can get outside and do some yard work. And it's not just going to be rain the entire week like it's kind of forecasting. Looks like it's going to be spotty. And really the only reason I wanted to hit up Walmart is because like I mentioned when I did this video, sometimes they have like some clearance plants because they put them out too early and they start to look bad. And I would like to kind of fill in some gaps. I want to check out some bromeliads and things. Not positive to get to all that right now, but eventually it's going to happen. So I need to head to the store and start getting stuff done. Oh, I can't leave. Got to wait. Got to finish that first. Here. Kind of crowded. Who knows how much vlogging I'll be doing in here, but we will see. Just going to hop in and check out the plants real quick. Thinking I might grab one of these ivy geraniums. I'm going to be surrounded by people. Also very, very windy out here. So that's going to... That's going to be great for the audio. Lots and lots and lots of annuals and hanging baskets, and this is just one side. There's still a whole other area. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at how cute and tiny these little baby bird of paradise plants are. On about the price. Six bucks, it seems. A bit dramatic, but <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, my teeny tiny little majesty palms. I need a majesty palm, because I want to do a video on them, but I don't really want to buy one, which I'll explain why in the video. Should I just get one of these? Hey, six bucks isn't too bad for some tiny little pothos. There are people checking out with some really cool tropicals, but I'm not seeing them. I don't know where they're getting them from. So I really wish the growers would specify oleander colors when they're selling them assorted. That drives me nuts. Because the flowers are a big part of the plants. Don't you want to know what the color of the flowers are? These look nice. Pardon the airplane. Pretty wisteria. Hey, $3.97 for the proven winners, that's pretty good. They have tons of these elephant ears, but they're just labeled as elephant ears, which is kind of useless, other than, I mean, knowing that it's an elephant ear doesn't tell you much about the plant. Probably just the Esculentes. Esculent, you know what I'm saying? Clarence, that's what I wanted to see. Hey, I remember a few weeks ago when I said I'd come back for a dragon swing? <laughs> there we go. Although that is hardly a clearance price. This thing is sopping wet. No wonder it's not doing well. And they only have a few. These are so heavy. I mean, look, it's only a dollar off. I mean, I guess the cyclamen really don't look that bad, though. So that's more understandable. These are... Well, they're not as bad as they were last year. But last year I got them for like a dollar. That's alright, though. I only need two. Oh, Lovely pink calla lilies. Love a good calla lily. Um, look at the size of these. Why am I going for the one above my head and they're right in front of me? Kind of hard to get out of here. Well, that's a good price. These things are huge. Can't say they've grown out much more than the ones in the smaller pots, but that's pretty cool. Proven Winners doesn't normally offer them in these bigger pots. Usually just, you know, the little guys. That's nice. Is it just the Bordeaux? Looks like they also have the uh, black cherry. Still not what I'm looking for. That is a really pretty red though, isn't it? It's like crimson. I love that. I love that. There we go again. My gosh, I've been here for a while. I spent the entire time just trying to find a cart. <laughs> like, stashed my finds over here because I want anybody to take my goods. 
So they're only gonna work that great for potting the soil, but they don't have any flatbeds. Can't find any, so this will just have to work. Is that $2. I know it looks pretty bad, but it'll rehydrate, it'll be all right. And look at this fun little colorful assortment of these uh, neogorillias. However you say it, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> that ought to do it, 10 bags. They're on sale, it's cheaper to get two for 12 of the smaller bags than to get the big ones, which are 14, which is 50 quarts, 50 quarts for the two. It just made more sense, they have like 10 bucks this way. It's a lot of amending to do to it because it's miracle Grow. Look at this hibiscus, that's pretty. It says that this is president, I thought president was red. This is orange, although, okay, yep, orange president, makes sense. Pretty sure it's just a faded flower though. Yes, you guys, I hate this shopping cart. It just, it wants to go this way, I need it to go that way, so I can't like vlog and walk at the same time. I've got like my foot on here to correct it. This is um mini cattail. I had trouble finding these last year. They're great in bog setups, water gardens, and uh, I keep thinking it's a frappuccino, and it's just like triggering. Every time I see it at the corner of my eye, I'm like, I want to, I want to take a drink of my cattail. Wait, do you see? Do you see? Let's go straight here. Come on now. Get me to it. Can we pull this off? <laughs> it would be pretty hard to show everything, but my Lowe's is absolutely overflowing. It is just racks and racks and racks, aisles and aisles and aisles of plants. I am in heaven. Not seeing anything I'm gonna get other than what's already in the cart, but just thought I'd walk and talk a bit. You guys can <laughs> try that again. I didn't want to record people like that close to their face and everything. Seems disrespectful. We'll walk around and I keep trying to say I'm gonna walk around so we can look at the plants, but I don't like, you know, I don't want people's like faces directly in things. They're in the background, no big deal, but it's so crowded here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull it off. Ooh, I almost forgot any gypsum. It's like one of those things I always forget to grab when I'm here. I go through a lot of it in the springtime. And then I need a big, cheap pot. I was gonna order a large nursery pot for that spindle palm that I talked about in last week's vlog. It's like $40, I'm gonna spend $40 on a nursery pot. So just something around 24 inches. So it's one of these two. I think I like that one. Ooh, or maybe that one. Not that it matters, since the plant's gonna be mostly buried and surrounded by plants, but this one's pretty. Like, I like that a lot for $40. I don't know if I'd want it for the spindle, though. Let me think about this one. Eh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> just like. I'd say I got just about everything I needed. Ooh, it was not a fun day at Lowe's. I need coffee coffee. So whatever, that's done. I'm glad I got my stuff. I, it looks like, I think, I mean, it's pretty out. Things are clearing up nicely. I um, don't think it's going to stay that way, though. It looks like they just pushed it back, so it's supposed to start raining around 6. It's like 4.30 right now. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get done. I from by the vet's office and get my dog's medicine and just blah, blah, blah. Just rambling at this point. I'll pick back up when I get back. We can go over the stuff I got. I just, I didn't, I'm pretty sure you saw it all in the cart but I need to get that spindle palm repotted. So that's kind of my main priority, the spindle palm, the mule palm. I think I might need the saws off for the mule palm, so those pots are pretty, why am I still talking? We're gonna be talking about all this in a few minutes. Anyway, bye. Anyway, the car is pretty full. I kind of ran out of space in here. A lot of potting, so I, you guys saw everything, right? You know I got the begonias, I got the two pots. Clarence bromeliad, the other bromeliads. Got my gypsum here, the expert potting mix, which I'm gonna blend into the Miracle Grow to enrich it so that it's not just Miracle Grow. We'll do all this. I'll go ahead and get unloaded and hopefully it doesn't start to rain. Time to start potting up some palm trees. Maybe just the one. See how far I can get. See, I've already started drilling holes in here. Hole here in the middle. There's a little star there. It said, you know, drill right here. Then over here, I like to do them on the sides of the pots as well, just to make sure that there's no way water can collect in the bottom. And then I left one spot open so I can show you how I did it. It's pretty easy. I just start from the top, work my way through, and then once that's gone ahead and popped through the pot, I give it a little bit of a twist so that it drills out through the side of the pot. And that's it, done. Now I know you're probably like, why? Because now you have those nasty looking holes on the sides of the pot. But remember, I got this pot so that I can bury part of it in the ground. I don't really care how it looks. I could have ordered some nursery pots that wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but I would have had to get them in bulk. I would have had to, it would have been a wholesale thing. I would have had to wait a while. I need to do this now. 
and the prices on the internet, like I had mentioned when I was at Lowe's, it's about 40 bucks to go ahead and get a black nursery pot that's 25 gallons. What? May as well just go buy it from Lowe's and have it now and have it look a little bit nicer so that when I have the palms out and they aren't ready to go in the ground, it'll just be a lot prettier to look at, right? Hey, and over here, I am starting to mix my soil. So far, this is just that miracle grow that the, <laughs> sorry, the miracle grow mix that I got. Nothing special about it. It has a lot of perlite in it. I bought perlite to add into this. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to. There's some bark chips in here. It's, uh, I, you know, I hate to say it, but I think miracle Grows kind of stepped their potting soil up a little bit. I wasn't expecting it to really look like this, and I don't hate the soil, which I think I talked about a little bit last year, too. But there's sometimes batching consistencies and whatnot, which has been an issue in the past, but this isn't that bad. But it still needs work. It's not ready for the spindle palm. However, in comparison, here's that expert potting mix. You can see there is a definite difference here between these soils. This is much more organically rich, but not built to drain as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a little bit of this in there into that of uh, the Miracle Grove mix. See, not a lot, just a little bit. The whole reason I'm doing that, and then I'm also adding this Espoma Biotone Starter. Both of these products are going to help create a soil that is going to have more breakdown in it, which since the plants need to be repotted every 18 to 24 months, that is fine. And it, that's just, it's organics. It's going to make for a better environment for all the microbes, for the fungus and the bacteria, all the good things you want around the roots that help the plant grow. That That's what I'm trying to achieve here. But it's not a lot. It's just kind of like I'm adding a little bit of food in here to help get things broken down. Because while I do like this potting mix, the, I have a couple issues with it. One, I can't find it in big enough bags to make sense for what I do out here. So I'd have to buy tons and tons and tons of these, which I know I just did over here, but that, that's a different story. And uh, also, it, um, it, it holds on to moisture way too long for the palm trees, at least the kind of palm trees I'm growing. So for now, I'm just using a little bit to help enrich that mix there, which is also why I'm adding in this Biotone starter, a fairly hefty amount, actually, probably <laughs> dusty. Because that, that may have been overkill, but it's all right. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not like it's heavily, heavily loaded with nitrogen or anything like that. Again, just using that to help make it so that the soil is going to have the proper breakdown and the proper micro environment or whatever you want to call it. The right culture for the good things. So I had to call it quits because I mean you can see why. It actually it just let up. You can man, that's a lot of water. Uh oh. Pardon my little rainbow maker thingy. Take that sticker off. I might need to go out there and dig that trench out because I don't want this water washing into the pool. Uh oh. Yeah, and that happened too. So the wind took that off as I was laying this down. That thing, I guess I should wait till I actually go out there to talk about it, but it turns out this poor spindle palm's pretty much in straight up clay. Which isn't that unusual for something that's been field dug, but it also explains a lot of issues I've had with the palm tree. So I'm really happy to be repotting this thing. And oh, did it stop? Oh, are we gonna see a rainbow? Probably not. That would be fun though, wouldn't it? Good morning, Bugin. Oh, honey, you so sweet. Yeah, good morning, baby, but you're such a good girl. Okay, that was fun. It's the next day. It looks like the rain's going to hold off for a little while. I got this window cracked open because the older cat likes to sit in there and watch the nature channel. It's looking like the rain's going to hold off for a while. You're in a bad mood today, Cosmo. What's wrong with you? I was gonna pick him up and let him be on camera for a minute, but no, nah, he was that, that's that's he was definitely saying he didn't want to do that. So, anyways, like I was saying, I'm going to run to the nursery. That's what I was getting ready to say. Because once I have this repotted, I'm gonna do those mule palms, and I want to go ahead and plant them up. There's a new variety of super tunia out, and I'm trying to find it. It's a new vista. Can't remember the name of it. I'll put it up here. Hopefully, they'll have it at the nursery, and we can just see it because I'll be buying them. I like the color a lot. If I can't find them, I guess I'll just go with the Vista Bubblegums. But that's 
That's what's going on there. Oh, look who came back. Hey, honey. As soon as I'm leaving, she's like, wait, you're leaving? Give me love. I'm sorry, sweetie. I gotta go. We got things to do. There's only a few hours of sun. It's gonna start to rain. Yeah, I know. She has no idea what I'm saying. Anyone else still rocking this setup where you gotta hook the phone up through your tape deck? Yep. 2006. As I'm back, what am I doing here? Like, I've never YouTube before. Don't play that. As I'm backing out here, I just wanted to show off that dogwood. Look at how beautiful. Really put out some nice blooms this year. Gotta get that Japanese maple cut down. That was something I thought about yesterday, and I was like, oh no. I didn't even... Oh, that sounded terrible. It occurred to me after I bought the begonias that was that Japanese maple gone? I'm gonna have to rethink my landscaping in the front yard this year, at least a lot of it, that area. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Because once that's gone, I'm gonna lose all the shade that that puts out. So I'm gonna have to, I don't know. A new canvas, another blank canvas to play with. That's exciting. Gorgeous, the foliage is on these exors. This is the jungle beauty. It's stunning. It's like luminous and vibrant. That's, I love it. Oh, and I did find my petunias. I couldn't decide between the Vista bubblegum and the Vista fuchsia, so I don't know, old habits. I went with the Vista bubblegum, and I thought I'd try out the fuchsias this year and see how I like them. Also, do you see why this is my favorite nursery? It's um, tropical plant heaven. This is, if you're in the St. Louis area, Greenscape, Gardens, nursery. They have awesome plants. You should check it out. Ooh, the foliage on these agapanthus is amazing. Can you see that? This place is just amazing. <laughs> so tropical and so happy. Um, look at the sky. I don't know, this is making me nervous. Looking kind of dark and ominous. I don't know if I'm gonna pull this off. I guess just have to see what happens, right? Okay, so how am I gonna do this? See what I was talking about? I mean, this is in clay. It's sandy clay. You know, field dug plants, that happens. It's not unusual. I just, I don't wanna repot this with clay around its root ball. I was hoping to also swing back by Walmart again while I was out to grab a tarp. It'd be nice to have a tarp to lay out so that when I'm doing my plantings this year, I'm not getting soil over the patio. And you can already see there's a bit of a mess back there, it's blurry, but it's soil, so it's not anything exciting to look at. Uh, but I didn't have time. I was like, I gotta get home. I guess I'm just gonna have to slowly work it out of here, because I really don't want to repot this with the clay in it, which I think I've already said. That would be the entire point of what's happening here, so hopefully I did. Oh, and then here's what I picked up. I spent a lot longer at the nursery than I was planning on because I just could not decide between the Vista Bubblegums and the Vista Fuchsia. Here they are side by side just for some contrast. The problem is the Vista Fuchsias that they had weren't really fully open so it's like kind of hard to really get an idea that's a Vista Bubblegum. See I'm drawn towards the Vista Bubblegum. The Vista Fuchsia is a little bit more red than what I want so I decided to go with the Vista Bubblegums. I actually I had a flat of the Vista Fuchsias in the cart and I was like you know I just I, d I don't like it. I don't like the combination because I decided I'm going to do the sweet potato vines in these pots again. If you watched the videos last year, you know that the sweet potato vines took over and ate the petunias. But what I decided to do this year is to not plant as many. So I'll have a sweet potato vine on each side and a petunia on each side. So they have more space and they hopefully won't eat each other. Which was also nice because that's less plants to put in the pot, so that's cheaper. And I went with the Sweet Caroline. This is the uh, Sweetheart Lime. This is the name of this variety, the Sweet Caroline, Sweetheart Lime, Sweet Potato Vine. These, I like the foliage on them. They're heart-shaped. They're not quite the, like, oak shape kind of looking leaf you get, like an oak leaf sort of, on the other Sweet Potato Vines. And I think the reason I like this is because it looks a little bit like a philodendron. So, I think... That's going to work. And I did, obviously I still grabbed one of the uh, Vista Fuchsias because I want to try it out, which I think I said when I was at the nursery. I grabbed two of those. And then I also grabbed one of the Super Petunia Vista Silverberries. These are really awesome. The Vista Petunias. The difference is that they get much bigger than the other proven winners, Super Petunias. 
the vistas have a lot more vigor to them. So I just, I was really drawn to this. I actually, it would have been really out of character for me and what I do back here, but I almost decided to just get a flat of these and go with white flowers. These white with that pretty pinky rosy veining in there or on the sides of the pots, which isn't normally what I do, but I was just really drawn to it. But um, instead I'm going to use these for different arrangements so that I'll kind of get to enjoy them, see how I like them and think about that for next year. Okay, hey, I have to have to interrupt real quick. Yes, I still have this tucked under the umbrella. It won't stop raining. I can't move it out yet. This vlog got really long, so I'm going to stop things right here. It's kind of an abrupt thing to do, but it got really long. So just like for the sake of editing, uploading, and for just, and you guys too, everybody else's sanity, I'm going to wrap things up and then I'll put out the part two with like tomorrow or the day after or something like that. How's that sound? Is that okay with everybody? I hope so. And I hope everybody's doing well. Um, you know, the whole thumbs up thing, subscribe, hit that notification bell because I upload multiple times a week. The thumbs up make a big difference for the channel. I really do appreciate it. So thank you. I have all my social media linked down below. I use Instagram more than anything else. If you follow me, I will follow you back so we can look at each other's pictures and have fun nerdy plant time together. And as always, most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.